Hey guys, so today we're going to do another painting. I'm do I have a 30 by 40 canvas um, and I'm going to do something similar to what I did last time. Um, but I was going to do a 24 by 20, 48 again, and then I decided against it. And I had this 30 by 40 <laughs> leaning against the wall for, I don't know, about almost a year. So I decided to pull it out and we're going to use that. Um, I'm going with three colors today. I have white, um, Payne's gray, copper, and then like a pink color. I'm going to try to use more, um, white. I have 34 ounces of white, so I'm going to try to use, um, that so that's going to be half the painting 34 ounces and um try to keep the panes gray to a minimum um again like the black that i did last time i don't want it overpowering um the painting even though panes gray is so pretty because it's going to turn light blue it's going to turn um it, it turns a lot with this white um, and then this pink, I'm really only going to use like, I hope less than 10 ounces. I really just want subtle pops of pink, not an overabundance of it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. So we'll start with white on the bottom like we did last time. I have garage door lubricant in all of these. Um, like I did last time. I have strained all my paint in a cup like I did last time through a sock. Um, to get any like clumps and stuff out. See how that goes. Sometimes those clumps just find their way in no matter how hard we try to keep them out. And that's the annoying part about this. Um, for those of you curious about my scale saga last week, um, my scale is correct. So I just took like a three pound weight that I have like a workout weight, weighted on my scale, and it weighed three pounds, and I took five pound one, and it weighed five pounds, so I could deduct from that that my scale was accurate, and um, these cups are not 24 ounce cups. And yes, for those of you who said, are you sure they're 24 ounce cups? Again, I checked on the bottom, they all say 24 ounces. So I don't know if that's um, something you should check before you paint, just to make sure you have the right, I mean, I would have thought, here I am filling this up has 24 ounces, but it was only 19. So, so little of this. Kind of like I had like a mauve left over and I just had a white too. Left. So 
So it's kind of pink, but it's kind of, I don't even know what, what I'd call it. It's a, it's a pretty color. One Payne's gray into my white bucket. So I'm shooting again for like 75 ounces of paint. Seemed to be the magic number last time. It's similar. I guess we're still just doing it. So it's about there. Painted my edges, you guys, just in case. More than enough paint, but. Never hurts. That pink sure did come out a lot more than I wanted it to, but. Maybe more of this will open up as I tilt. What do I like and what do I not?
a voice, hear it echo. Raise a voice, hear it echo. with this one I hate if you've watched me for long enough you know I don't like pink so I don't even know why I added it it's a it's a tough color um I love uh what this Payne's gray and the copper did though um and this extra cup that I poured um at the last and I don't even mind I don't mind like these subtle bands of pink or like up in here there's this little subtle band of pink that's kind of what I thought I was gonna get by putting the amount of pink I put in and the pink just kind of took over everything it's just kind of shocking and then it kind of came through too um Like it just wanted to be seen, I guess. So I don't know. I don't I don't mind the way it is now. And this copper is it's amazing up here. Um with the Payne's Gray and um in through here. So I'm excited to see how it dries. And then also um this like band going up in through here it looks really cool right now. So um, there's a lot of parts of this that I really, really like. And I think um, as an artist, this is truer to me than it was when it was pink. Um, so I'm I'm curious to see how this one dries. So uh, I will bring you guys back when it's dry. Hey guys, so here this one is dry. Um, that copper, you guys, is insane. Um, what I learned um, this last week about uh, Soho paints, so I had bought some uh, ultramarine and all the Soho paints dry gloss, like the Creative Inspirations paints. So I think that's the reason they're just so much better than like Liquitex or Amsterdam that dry back matte. I think having that extra um, glossy sheen is it just is what makes them pop. Um, I mean, it, it's unbelievable. These literally just jump off the canvas and 
I was walking by it earlier and every, every time I walk by, it's crazy how um, shimmery it is. Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this painting as I was editing the video. I thought, um, God, why didn't I start it, stop at the 10 minute 30 mark? That was such a, a well-balanced painting. But you know what, you guys, I, I hate pink. And all that painting would have done is every time I looked at it, it would have reminded me how much I hated it. So I couldn't, I, I, for the amount of pink I put in the cups compared to white and blue, that was a pink painting. And I would have hated it. So I had to pour another cup and just see how it, how it went. Um, and I'm, I'm happy with the way this turned out. It kind of looks like fire dripping in the ocean. It's kind of just a weird, um, painting, but this copper is off the charts. So, um, you guys, I've decided that if I'm going to do big paintings like this or like 24, 28, I'm only going to be doing one a week because these take, I mean, this took me like three hours to mix paint. Took me like three hours, four hours to clean up and do this. These these are pretty time consuming. So, and I, I still work, you guys. I still have a real job. So, um, I can't do two of these or I, I just don't have the time. So, um, I will post another video next Wednesday. I don't know if I'm going to go small or I'm going to go big. But if I go small, I'll do two a week like I have been. But if I go big, um, I'm only going to be doing one, um, one a week. So, um, thanks for watching, you guys. And um, I will see you next time.